All right, I want to show you this right here. Take it back outside. That is a live look at Clearwater Beach. The pier still closed for some of the repairs, you know, the hurricanes. I want to bring meteorologist Mike Prangley in. Mike, mm -hmm. uh, we were talking about it being toasty, and I don't like that graphic behind you. I, I don't either. I've had, you know, I'm a meteorologist. I love storms usually, but I've had enough too, folks. Believe me. In fact, we take a look. I wish I could say the season was done, but this is a reminder 18 days until the end of the season. At least we're getting closer, right? Now, as we take a look outside, let's go to the tropics. What everybody's been talking about around town, there's been a lot of folks seeing things online, but here our weather team, we don't deal in rumors. We deal in facts and as we look at the science out there, but well, we know it's hot here at home, a record breaking high of 90 on the way today. But as we look at the tropics, you know, the tropics are heating up as well. We bring out the latest satellite picture and we're not going to just stop at Florida, but notice we've got a swirling mass of clouds down in the Caribbean right now. Uh, right now looks pretty quiet. You know, a few thunderstorms are starting to develop. They're expected to organize again with an area of low pressure as we head through the next few days. We've got plenty of time to watch it. So again, you see folks bringing tracks up toward here in Florida way too soon for that. That's the main thing I want to get across. So we're not losing sleep over the tropics at this point, but just keep checking back with us and we'll keep you informed, prepared and connected and calm. Let's go to the weather wall now and take a look so you know about the hot day today and let's talk more about the tropics. Well, we've got an 80% chance of development and usually this is the time of year we do see development in this area, even though it's November. So this is where you have the warmest waters in the tropics that are still at record breaking levels, right? We've been talking about that all hurricane season long. So that's why the Hurricane Center seeing uh, some some things here with the latest models showing a very good chance of environment more conducive to development, so to speak, as we head into the next few days. In fact, as we look at the big picture in the composite, really zooming in on what's happening. We still have a few thunderstorms down there. Yeah, nothing too organized right now. Uh, but again, uh, with very light upper level winds developing over this and this thunderstorm activity, it will tend to develop an area of low pressure. And once that low pressure develops and those thunderstorms organize, that's when we could get a tropical depression or tropical storm, which likely if it does develop, wouldn't be until later this weekend. This weekend, we take a look at the steering flow. This is the key. Where are the high pressure setting up? Where's the low pressure? So our team, we don't deal in the models. This this model's doing this and that. We deal with the overall picture. So as you look at the high pressures in the atmosphere, this is Saturday. So as we head through the weekend, we're going to have a beautiful weekend. It's going to feel cooler, uh, less humid. Notice high pressure to the north. What does it tend to do in the atmosphere? Build low pressure to the south. So you see that big orange area, that big blob down in the Caribbean, still far from home. Uh, we're going to be watching that. Then as we end the next week, notice what hasn't changed in our tropical steering flow. Hmm, our high pressure. And what does it tend to do? It tends to block tropical activity to the south. I think we have enough strong high pressure and control like we saw with Raphael last week uh, that this would tend to keep that tropical activity farther south. But notice it's going to come up a little closer to home toward Cuba as we head into mid to late week next week. But overall, uh, the favorite track I have is and it's still too early to really talk tracks would be staying farther south. So just keep checking back. We